Hello my dolls and welcome to the Cello Doll YouTube channel. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a like, and to subscribe. I'm doing covers, arrangements, weekly live streamed concerts. So this video is about my story behind open string practice. Now you're thinking, Cello Doll, you've almost been playing the cello for 16 18, 18 years. Why do you do something like open strings? Because it's so important and I'm gonna tell you why. So we're gonna have a little bit of cello doll celli story time about our past. When I was a sophomore in undergrad, I had just turned 20 years old and I went to a summer festival. I was so excited to be studying with Peter Howard who is still an incredible inspiration of me today. He totally changed my life as a cellist and musician. Peter Howard studied with legendary cellists such as Navara and Rostropovich. He's performed with Zuckerman and I was just so honored to be working with this cellist who was alive during the great legends that we revere and idolize today. And I went into my first lesson with Mr. Howard. I was working on Schumann Cello Concerto. I played probably the exposition and he stops me, asks me to play open strings. And we did a bunch of exercises that took up the entire hour. My dolls, I played nothing but open strings. Immediately after that lesson, I went back to my dorm room and cried, thinking, oh my gosh, I'm here. I must have been terrible. Is this what my whole festival experience is going to be like? Looking back on it now, I totally understand. Mr. Howard did that because he really cared about my growth as a cellist. Whenever you have a guest teacher for a summer festival, a lot of times they work on you with the repertoire and they kind of coach you because they know you're gonna go back to your regular teacher. But Mr. Howard said, I'm gonna fix this technical problem you have. You have a technical problem, we are gonna tackle it this summer. And it totally changed my life. That problem at the time was having smooth bow changes and having flexible fingers in my bow hand. And open strings was the remedy. By the end of my festival, I was having my fingers move. A lot of my tension problems were gone. And I promise I didn't just play open strings. I did end up having regular lessons and playing a lot of stuff for Mr. Howard. But in the early stages of the festival, we worked on open strings a lot to really focus on the bow hand. Doing bow work with concertos, sonatas, and your repertoire, that's all really important. But often we're doing acrobatics and we are so prone to focus on, am I getting the notes? Am I in tune? Blah, 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 blah. It's overwhelming. So how do you focus on the bow? You know, I really think there's a problem where string players focus so much on the hand that makes the notes, but the bow hand is what makes your sound. And that was a big thing I learned with Mr. Howard during my summer with him. And again, I am so grateful to Mr. Howard for showing me the value of open strings, and he is a great supporter and cello doll fan. So I really am honored to share this knowledge with you all. And I just wanted to take this time to thank him too, because that summer was a very important time of my life as a person and as a cellist. So thank you dolls for watching. Until next time, I am the cello doll. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and happy practicing. Bye.